Hey everybody, I am Tennis Bubba 13 the guy who feels great, and welcome to my newest Let's Play. What could this possibly be? A guy riding down the mountains. I hope everyone remembers this. Yes, this is 1080 snowboarding. 1998 Nintendo. God, those were the good old days. Oh boy. This is by far like my favorite snowboarding game of all. Uh, 1080 Avalanche might take my second place, but uh, this is by far the first. Alright, so... This is going to be kind of different than I would normally do. So let's go all the way down to the options. And let's go all the way to erase save data. And erase everything! That's right, we're going to start from scratch, yo. Everything's going to be completely empty. So what that means is I'll possibly do everything in this mode. We're going to start from match race and kind of work our way down. Uh, next, After the match races are pretty much done, then I'll do time attack and trick attack. And they're going to be something a little bit different than what I normally would do. Uh, but right now, let's go ahead and start the first normal cup. Uh, basically, the easy course ever. And here we have our characters. Kensuke Kimachi. Is the Asian. They're all pretty much based on like different areas. That's Dion Blaster. You don't want to mess with Dion Blaster right there. What's up? Rob Haywood's just like, yo, dude, I'm wearing sunglasses and which I'm American. <laughs> That's Akari Hayomi, the other Japanese chick. Yeah. And we got our Canadian, Rick Ricky Winterbore. Alright, um, I'm pretty much gonna go around the circles. I'm gonna pick him first. And look at all these boards. Uh, which one to pick? Oh my god, they they all have like different stats. Ooh, this one looks nice. Tahoe Fit 155 it is. And let's ride regular. I normally would ride regular on snowboarding. So, yeah. Here we are. Round one. Oh god, we're facing Dion Blaster already? Jeez, we're, we're doomed. Dion Blaster is considered the fastest person in snowboarding history. Uh, most likely in this game. So here we are! Welcome to Tainity Snowboarding. You'll find that many things are kind of smooth in the controls. Um, the crouch, you can press the... Uh, oh, I'm playing this on the GameCube controller, not the N64 version, so that means I'm playing on the Virtual Console. Uh, which is a little bit better graphic-y, because I'm using the Hippodge. Um, but, uh, let's see. Because normally when I would do on N64... Oh, jeez. Like, Hippodge has a hard time... Or, uh, capturing the N64 because it can only do up to 480p, I believe. So, uh, that's basically what I'll be using for this. And there's a nice little shortcut right here. If you want to get past that, I think we can take on Dion Blaster. Dion Blaster's not that bad. <laughs> as long as he picked like some of the weaker boards. Um, let's see. So I can tell you why I sort of picked this as a project. I mean, the whole reason why, obviously, because I just got back from a snowboarding trip. And uh, that was pretty fun. Uh, we went up to Lake Tahoe, up in the South Shore, but we stayed at Reagan's Beach. Uh, there's like a, we had like a nice little cabin, and it's cute because we have all of our dogs with us. We can bring all of our pets in there, and it was pretty fun. Uh, we snowboarded for only two days, though. And what's weird because uh, when we got up to the mountains, there was like no snow whatsoever. And then we were just like worried, oh dude, our, our snowboard trip's ruined now. But luckily there was some snow. Oh. And uh, we're facing off Hikari Omi next. That's pretty fancy, going up against the Japanese people. Alright. Yeah, this game is basically stereotypical in that fashion. <laughs> you got like two Japanese guys, a Britain person, American, and a Canadian. Uh, so, yeah. Like I said, the snowboard trip was pretty awesome. Uh, I think last Monday was it, we had a full day of snowboarding and then like on Tuesday of, of last week, we only snowboarded for about half a day. We were just kind of tired afterwards, so yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it from this trip. Overall, it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Um, with, with my brother, my stepbrother up in the mountains and along with my uh, dad and stepmom and then stepsister showed up with uh, her boyfriend, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, a little shortcut right here. Oh, good. I, I thought I would miss that because the ice is really hard to steer in this game. 
<laughs> Jump! Wow. Boy, we're just dominating Akari right, right here. She is typically the slowest, I would say. Um, but I think... I don't know who else is the slowest. I mean, it all depends on which board you select, really. Um, so what else I could say? Uh, hope all had a Merry Christmas. This is probably going to go up after Christmas. Sometime this week, I would say. But, uh, yeah. Definitely looking forward to this project. Um, it's going to take a few days, probably. This, this isn't going to be like a long Let's Play. I'll still pretty much update uh, my other two Let's Plays, uh, Metroid Prime and Zelda Ocarina of Time, most likely. And there we go! Round 2 completed! Take that, Akari Iomi. Alright. Now this next stage, I really love. Oh yeah, hope you have some good memories of this level, Golden Forest. We're going up the American! The dude who wears sunglasses indoors, and outdoors. <laughs> I love this song completely. This is like one of my top five favorite songs in this game. <laughs> I really love it. I just love the way it looks, too. Alright, and you can obviously say I'm a metalhead, or just any rock and roll person. You'll obviously recognize this in like five seconds if you hear this, if you ever play this game. And jump on these logs, because we are pro. Um, I can explain a little bit of the controllers, and those of you who have played this game on the virtual console. The jump button, I think, is A. The B button, I think, does tricks, like board tricks, and stuff like that. Uh, if you do like a uh, jump and press the left and right of the analog stick and do like and press the I believe it's the right button do like a spin trick so you can do like 180s 360s uh, 540s 720s and then all the way up to 1080 which that's basically the tricks I'll be explaining and uh, like the training mode so and then uh, basically like show you all that stuff and then like the different names of the tricks and right here I always fall it's so stupid ah that spot I can never seem to land correctly if I go, always go that way. <laughs> and so the thing up in the uh, left-hand corner, the damage, uh, depending on how many times you fall in or hit, when it gets really close to the very end, like it fills up all the way in the red, uh, then you basically retire and start the match over. So you only get three chances of that. The only The only way to lose in this game is by coming in second place or by just taking damage of this game. That's the only way you can possibly lose in this game. But this game's not that hard. I would say this game's pretty easy. Well, only because we're playing the easy mode. Later on it gets pretty tough. Alright, let's go. This is, I think, the last round. Oh yeah, we're going up Mr. Canadian guy. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Alright, Mountain Village is the last area, and each time you um, win one of these races, these match races, I think this is the, one of the courses you unlock is this. And we're gonna unlock all the courses in this Let's Play, don't you worry. Doing fancy, look at that, Oh, dang it, I fell. <laughs> Alright, uh, I might take several damages because I never really could finish this race without taking a hit. It's weird because when I practice this, like, I, I always, no matter what, every time I do this level, I always take damage. Like, no matter what. It's crazy. It is crazy, so, look, I guess <laughs> that comes back to haunt me. But anyways, look at this level. It's so nice. We're inside of a cave. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Nothing, apparently. Alright, so we got several ways we can go. This is like a little shortcut. I always take this as a route. I don't know why, but it, it looks so nice over here. Look at that view, too. Right, jump on that log. Oh, That's what I get for being cocky like that. <laughs> okay. You gotta be careful, too, because when you land on, like, streets or, like, concrete and stuff like that, it might be okay to press the L button to safely do like a little safe landing. Alright, there's a 360, kind of wanted to show you what that is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll probably be up uploading this more frequent, like every, almost one every day. 
Um, I'll probably still keep up with Metroid Prime and Zelda in due time. But this one, this will, this won't be a long let's play or anything like that. That's for sure. All right, we're almost done here. Let's just finish this up. Come on, we can do this. I don't think I like ever lost a race ever during practice mode. So there we go. Level clear. That's basically it for the easy cup. And look at that. Everyone's just like, "Go, Kensuke Kimachi! You're the best!" And we get a nice little victory theme here. Oh, I like it. it makes me feel great. Uh, all right, that's basically it. Uh, now the next episode, of course, will feature the second challenge cup, and that's basically gonna be it for the match races. Really, I'm gonna do like one episode. So the first one will be this mat uh, for this race. This next episode will be the other cups, and that's basically how this is gonna go down. Ooh, we get to pick my name. I'll go with just my initials. <laughs> yeah, that's basically my initials right there. And there we go. You can see our best times from all the places that we've been so far. Now later on during the time challenge and the uh, trick challenges, I'm going to provide a little contest for that. So just you wait on that. But for now, that's basically it for this episode, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you all are looking forward to this let's play because I sure am. I mean, who loves snowboarding, honestly? And the next time we are going to take on the hard challenge. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace!